Well, greetings everyone. Welcome to Rob's workshop. Now then, I've put it off for long enough. Time has come for me to do these, the connecting rods. That's what they look like after a bit of cleaning up. There's absolutely no reference surfaces on any of it. I've uh, I've checked the, the large end and the sides are reasonably parallel. So I'm going to hold it in the vise uh, by those sides and lightly deck top and bottom edges if you like so that then I can then rotate it uh, stick it in the vise that way and then machine these and not taking anything down to final dimensions just yet I need reference surfaces all over as much as I can anyway so that I, I've got something solid to work against so that's the first bit uh, after that I need to make sure that the uh, large and small ends uh, of the conrod are um, how shall I put it centralized so I'll once I've decked uh, these uh, top surfaces I'll take a tiny uh, skim off here uh, zero the um, DRO on the quill and then bring it down so it just skims uh, this surface and make a note of the uh, the difference in height and then flip it over and do exactly the same but working from zero and then going down the same amount so theoretically when I finish this uh, large end will be centralized uh, along the axis to the small end that's the theory anyway um, very first job after cleaning this up I need to uh, I'll have to do this by eye work out the center of this boss crossways and the same with the, uh, the smaller boss here uh, mark a line on the perceived center line of both and then set them up in the vise so that the lines are horizontal and that will give me near enough um, a square uh, surface here parallel to the uh, center line that's the theory I'll see how it goes it's all going to be light cuts um, there's not much spare material um, to go down to final size so I don't want to overshoot the mark at all okay off to the mill and we'll uh, remove some metal
So that's the uh, small end machined. Uh, I've used the same setup as I did for the drag links. Um, pin in the centre of the rotary table and just milling around the outside to get it to size. I'm uh, reasonably happy with the results. There is a small problem right at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. There's still signs of the original casting. Um, this diameter is already 8 thou under size. I'm gutted by that. Um, and this uh, is just a thou or so. But it'll polish out, I hope. Now to do the, the parallel sides, I'll just turn it around so you can see a bit better. To do these parallel sides, they, they have to be a quarter of an inch across. Um, what I did was uh, turn the uh, component to line it up with the y-axis center line of the connecting rod uh, parallel to the y-axis and then just take a light uh, dusting off both sides making a note of the X uh, reading so that I could get equal amounts taken off the sides with respect to the center line and kept working away at this until I get down to the 0.25 width required and then um, feed in on the Y axis axis until we just touched off on the cylindrical section there worked out quite well put some blue uh, some uh, felt marker pen on there just to see where the cutter was uh, going and it just 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 touched the uh, cylindrical part so I'm quite pleased with that that's worked out well not happy about that but as I said it'll uh, it'll clean up as the remains of the the center that I used for the lathe work okay the next next job um, I'm not sure I think I'll do the cutout to create the fork shape this is going to be a bit hairy because it's quite thin there I'm gonna to have to think about how to support this while I'm going in with the cutter um, I can't just clamp this in the vise because I mean that'd be the easy solution until you start cutting um, and the grip will, will lessen as metal is removed so there's a possibility of this coming free and at the end of the machining uh, we'll probably end up with a tapered side here because of the pressure from the jaws of the vise once they're released uh, this will tend to spring back open again and you'll you won't have parallel sides to the slot so I'm gonna have to have a bit of a think about that um, I think I might do that in part two uh, it's quite quite a long job this connecting rod so I've decided to split it into two two pieces so that's my plan uh, thanks to everybody that subscribed so far it's really appreciated it's you know at least somebody's uh, interested in my work and uh, encourages me to to carry on with more videos uh, until the till the next part of this uh, job uh, take care and I'll see you soon bye now